Hi guys, my name is Marina Mogilko, aka Silicon Valley Girl, aka crazy person who just bought a 130k dollar car and who absolutely loves it. I partnered with Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i for this video. I just got a call from a car dealer and he says he has the car that I love, that I really, really wanted. And uh, it looks, fingers crossed, it looks like tomorrow we're gonna go and get it. We would need to fly to LA. I need to thank you guys for it because this is all gonna be, like I am able to get this car because you're watching my videos. I started YouTube six years ago, three channels, three videos a week, and now we're here. I am able to buy a new car of my dreams, hopefully if he doesn't sell it. Thank you guys so much for taking your time and watching my videos and uh, let's hope that I'm gonna get this car and we're gonna celebrate together. Yes, this is my new car. I call it Costco car because I'm gonna use it for me, my husband, my two kids, our nanny, our stroller for two kids and a lot of Costco goods. So far, this car is the most expensive purchase in my whole life. Is it a good thing? I don't know. People would tell me you'd rather invest in an apartment that you can rent out, not in a car that loses its value and depreciates. But the thing is, like I've been thinking today, all the money that I make, what is the best value that I'm getting out of this money? Like what has changed in my life? How is Marina in 2021? different from Marina in 2015 when she was basically broke. So there are two things that I value. First is comfort. No, first is safety. Like just this feeling that if I stop producing videos, if my business doesn't work out, our family still has five to 10 years of runway depending on where we end up living. And if we end up living in Russia, that means we have 30 years of runway. That's number one, like plan B and every mom and every woman would understand me. I think this, I don't know, but I just feel like my husband is not like me. He never thinks about plan B. He's like, I'm all in. I'm all about plan B and plan C. I just need the safety. And so just this feeling that I can support my parents, I can support my kids, I can support myself. That's number one, like this would helps me sleep at night. Number two, comfort, being able to afford a nanny, being able to afford people who can help at home, being able to afford a car where you can fit six people easily. This is the way it fits everyone. Dima, nanny, Lily, Emily, me in the back with the strollers. Yes, the trunk is a little small, but I don't think the extended version would fit the stroller anyway because we have a bigger one. That's the best. I don't get that excited about buying luxury clothes and you know, just living this luxury lifestyle, eating out in beautiful restaurants. The most exciting thing is travel and being able to afford to go to places and sleep at the same time and not be like changing flights with kids. That's the best. Guys, this is my first new car. I started driving Ford Focus 2008 then we got a retired police interceptor for 2700 Then we got an old Mercedes E-Class for like 6K. And then we got Porsche for 50K. This is all thanks to YouTube. This is a new car and it's amazing. We went to LA on a Thursday, which means I also had to work as we fly as we buy everything because I still have my calls and my decks that I need to work on. And Lenovo gave me this amazing device, which is three in one. It is a laptop, it is a tablet. You can detach the keyboard easily and you can take pictures. And I already took it with me to Russia and I realized I can actually live without an actual laptop. Like I don't need it anymore. This device, it just solves every problem. You need an actual keyboard. Like I write texts for my Instagram. I create thumbnails. I answer emails. I create presentations for my webinars. And I just need something that has a keyboard and I need something portable. And my laptop is like extra four kilograms, like, like a baby, like another baby. So I started traveling with Lenovo. This device has a SIM card. And if you're in Russia like me, <laughs> or if you're traveling all the time and you need your internet with you, 
you just have it. The most exciting thing, this is your device, tablet mode. This is your keyboard. It has a Bluetooth feature. Right here, this Bluetooth option. What that means is that you can have your device in a tablet mode on your desk and you can chill with your keyboard. Isn't that amazing? It has two cameras, so you're good to jump on your calls. The device is perfect for young students, entrepreneurs, creators, bloggers, anyone who wants to do their job on the go or just crazy people who need to travel to buy a car to another city. Oh, because it has a SIM card, you can also make calls on it. So it's basically a laptop, a tablet, and a phone, and a camera. It has a multi-screen capability, so you can have your mom talking to you on the left and you can have your notes on the right. This comes with a free one-year Microsoft 365 personal included. This is a $69.99 value for the first year. And I don't know if I need to tell you this, but with Microsoft, you can create your PowerPoints, AKA presentations, AKA slide decks. You can share files because you get one terabyte of storage per person. You can use Outlook and all the features and you can use your subscription on up to five devices at a time. If your goal is to become a person who's not attached to their desk, who travels and who wants this flexibility and portability, Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i is for you. The link is down in the description below. This is actually the one. That one. <laughs> the one with the proper interior. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and smells new, right? Oh my god, this smells the best. Our ever. first new car. It's a well rounded vehicle, you know? Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for making it happen. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Can you give a tip to people who are selling, like salespeople? Mm -hmm. How do you sell 100K plus something? Like what, your, what would be your best sales tip? Give the customer what they're looking for. That's it. That's it? That's <laughs> it. If you're in the US in 2021 and you want to get a new car, you either first in the Bay Area, you pay 35K markup if you want to have it, or you find a place where you can have it without a markup and make friends <laughs> with a guy who sells it. So we went to Beverly Hills. Oh, let me tell you the whole story. We went to LA for this conference, Vid Summit. And uh, my husband calls me and he's like, I'm at Cadillac Beverly Hills. They have this old Cadillac that you're gonna love. Come over. So I come over. At that point of my life, I'm just so tired of looking for a new car because I ordered my Tesla in February 2021. Guess what? It's October and uh, I think I'm gonna get it maybe like April 2022. And we only have one car right now and we have two kids and a nanny and we live in the middle of nowhere. Like if you wanna go, go somewhere by foot, it, it's gonna take you half a day. <laughs> so, well, a couple hours at least. So we need two cars. And I didn't want to spend my money like on an old car that we're gonna sell later, that's gonna break. I needed something big, something I could have for the next 10 years, something that ideally has autopilot or at least a version of it. So Cadillac was like this perfect version, but I'm just not okay with paying 35K over asking or waiting for at least like six months. So long story short, he goes to this Burley Hills dealership and he calls me and I come and I see this car and I hate it but I kind of tell him I like it just because I want, to, I want to get over this problem I value my time a lot more than just you know it was our 10th trip to the dealership and the process of buying a car in the oh my god like if you're looking for startup ideas so you come there you need to be there in person they can't do it online so they approve you for finance and they tell you so and this takes like a couple of hours and once they approve you, they tell you, oh, you need to go to a local bank and get a check so you can pay the deposit. So you 
travel to a bank and I have Lily and she depends on me, I nurse her. So I go to the bank and I also go home to nurse Lily. So it takes like a couple hours. Then I come back and on my way back, I see the new Cadillac, which costs like, so expensive, but I was like, why are we getting this old car when there's this new one available that we could have for like the next 10 years? And we come to this dealership and I tell this guy, you know, good news and bad news. Good news, I have a check. Bad news, I want a new car. And they didn't have new cars back then. And he was like, "It's." A, he was so chill. Oh my God, I would have killed myself if I did that. I would just tell myself, you know, you wasted six hours of my time going back and forth. And he was totally chill. And he said, you know, leave your contact details. If we have something and we might have something in two weeks, I'm, I'll, I'll call you. Three days later, I'll like, and imagine, we came from Russia, we came to, Los Angeles, four days in LA, then three days we're back home and he calls us and says we have a vehicle that you might like. It's white on brown leather with auto with super cruise feature where you basically autopilot but on a highway. I'm like yeah let's get it. The only problem like they can't hold the vehicle for you and I tell him hey I am flying from San Francisco with a four month baby, three month she was three months back then. And can't you hold the vehicle? Said, no, we don't take deposits. We can't hold the vehicle. What happens if we fly out and somebody buys the vehicle? Like as we fly? Do we just go back home? And he's like, you know, I'm gonna pe keep you posted. So that was on Wednesday. We decided that we're gonna fly out on Thursday. And um, Wednesday night, he texted me, the car is still here. And Thursday morning, he's like, okay, we're gonna hold the vehicle for you. And then we get to the airport. And my husband asks, is it like a big vehicle or? Cause they, Cadillacs have two versions. There's like the small trunk that doesn't fit anything. And there's like a longer trunk. Well, it doesn't fit anything. I mean, wouldn't fit our stroller. That's my criteria. And the longer that would probably fit. And I text our guy and he's like, it's a short one. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. And Dima's like, damn. <laughs> Again, at this point of time, I'm so, so tired of getting it. I just want my car and I want to live my life. So we just fly out there. First impressions. Um, it's big. <laughs> That's my first impression. No, I like it. I like the smell, the smell of a new car. It's the best. It was 130K finance. This is just a crazy amount of money, but it is also 5X my AdSense revenue from YouTube. And this is not all my income. And I'm like, I'm proud of myself, which is great. And yeah, so we got a car and we drove back home for five hours, five and a half hours without stopping, Lily just slept. And uh, we were not tired because the seats are amazing and you don't have to have your hands on the wheel because it's super cruise. And it's like the best feeling in the world. You just sit there and you look at the road and the car just drives itself. Definitely the future. The only thing I wish, for, well, two things I wish for. So maybe a larger trunk, this one is fine, but still, like the larger the better, because I call this car a Costco car. And the second thing, I wish it was electric. But you know, I'm still waiting for my Tesla. The, the plan is when the Tesla's here, we're gonna sell the Porsche and we're gonna have a Tesla and a Cadillac. Okay, let me show you inside the car. The best thing about this car right now is the smell of a new car. Let's unpack together. You know, the only thing that it lacks right now, I need something right here to put my camera there and just vlog on the go. Cause I need to create so much content every single day of my life. That would really help. And even like turning the camera and shooting some murals when I go, that would be amazing. Car seat number one, car seat number two. The whole room back there to fit all the strollers and Costco stuff. <laughs> I like the trunk. 
look like how far it goes. This is incredible. It's like, it's the whole room, it's the whole corridor. Compared to this one, like, it's huge. Look at that. And this leather. And the smell. Oh my god. And look. See, it's all automatic. You just press a button and it goes down. This is my new YouTube studio. <laughs> Get ready to watch content from this car. I love it. I wish I could film the smell. It's the best. Oh, and this? Your music. And because it's so big, it has this feature that you press a button on the wheel and you talk to the people who are in the back so that they hear you and you don't have to scream. This feels like a yacht. Like a cruise ship. Look at this leather. Hi. <laughs> See you soon in the next vlogs. Bye.